Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal Loy. Hope you all are doing well. So welcome back after a short break. Yes, I am not. I was not making videos for last couple of weeks uh, because I was busy for a submission in a conference. So that's why I was not getting time. But anyway, I am back and in this video, I will be talking about IIT Kharagpur and their MTech curriculum. To be specific, I will be talking about computer science department uh, branch only. But this video, you know, you can follow if you are from any other branch because in IIT Kharagpur, more or less all engineering branch used to follow the same format. So in this video, first I will talk about what are the eligibility criteria for computer science branch and what are the typical cut of uh, gate rank uh, that is there for last couple of years. Then I'll talk about the course and curriculum. Then I'll talk about how guide used to be select, uh, used to select for the uh, MTech project, how placement used to happen. And overall, I will give you a brief idea about the two years MTech curriculum that is there in IIT Kharagpur. So if you're someone uh, who is aiming for IIT Kharagpur this year or who is targeting IIT Kharagpur in coming years, uh, you know, for your MTech admission, then you, you can even follow this video and if you want to know detail about it, please do watch the video till end. But before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. And if you like the video, please like it so that my video get more and more engagement and reach. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. Now let's first talk about the cutoff gate rank and the eligibility criteria for computer science department at IIT Kharagpur. Uh, so since uh, last year, the eligibility criteria has changed. Uh, so before that till 2021 the eligibility criteria was like this if you have given gate in any branch you are eligible to get admission in computer science and engineering department at IIT Kharagpur but since last year it has been changed and now uh, you can only apply and get admission at IIT Kharagpur computer science department if you have given the gate in gate CSE. Now coming to the cutoff gate rank around 250 to 300 is the cutoff score that goes every year so if your gate rank is 250 to 300 then you can expect that you will get admission uh, in IIT Kharagpur, if you belong to uh, general category for SCST or the special categories, it might go beyond that. But for general category, it is around 250 to 300. To be specific, what information I got that in 2021, uh, the last rank was 277. So yeah, this is how the whole thing is. Now let's talk about the coursework part. What are the coursework you have to do as a part of your MTech curriculum at IIT Kharagpur in Computer Science in Department. Uh, so there are four semester as you know in MTech curriculum. In the first semester at IIT Kharagpur, you have to do a lot of coursework. All the coursework that will be there, you have to finish by, by your two semester, first two semester. And the last two semesters, that is third and fourth semesters, you will be focusing on your placement and the master's project that is MTP that they uh, call. In the first semester, there are two compulsory courses that you have to do. Uh, one of them is theory of computation and automata. And the second one is algorithm design analysis. Then you have to take a compulsory lab that is computing lab. Uh, that is also compulsory for all the students. And you have to take three elective courses. So there will be a pool of elective courses and you have to take three of them. So total you have to do five courses, one lab. And additional to that, you have to give a presentation or seminar. For that, a random guide will be, you know, selected from the department. You have to talk with that guide and whichever topic that guide will give you, you have to read few papers and based on that, you have to give a presentation or seminar. So that is all about the first semester. Now coming to the second semester, again, you have to take one compulsory theory subject that is high performance computing and architecture. You have to take one compulsory lab again in the second semester that is design lab. Uh, you can you, you can choose four elective courses in the in the second semester and you have to choose three of the elective courses from the department and one you can choose from the non department uh, elective elective courses and again you have to give a seminar uh, in second semester but by second semester your mtech guide will be decided so whatever topic you will be working on for your mtech project on that topic only you have to give a seminar now coming to the elective courses as i was saying there will be a pool of elective courses uh, that will be you know offered to you from the department and you can choose any courses from there based on interest uh, like uh, whoever is given me this data he has chosen ai machine learning uh, information retrieval nlp distributed system all of these sub subjects will be there uh, this mostly this these subjects are from machine learning or intelligence systems uh, domain so you can choose any of them as an elective uh, elective course so in the second semester total you have to do five courses and that is four elective and one uh, compulsory theory one lab and one seminar these are all about the courses that you have to do in the first two semester in the third semester mostly you'll be focusing on your placement and you will start working uh, for your mtech project and once your placement is done by the end of third semester in the fourth semester you will fully focus on your master's project 
so this is how the whole curriculum is designed in iit kharagpur first two semester will be fully hectic because you have to take uh, you know five five to six uh, courses per semester but then the third semester and fourth semester there will be no load for the courses you can focus fully on your placement and the master's project now coming to the point that how guide selection is to be happen for your master's project or mtp project so again here also guide selection is fully based on your cgpa uh, so after the first semester result is out uh, the, the list of professors and their respective project will be released by the department based on that you can give some choices like suppose you have given 10 choices of the professors and then based on your cgpa you will get the preference so if you if you have very good cgpa then uh, your chance of getting and the top choice is more so that is how the allocation is done so based on cgpa and your preferences department will allocate you the corresponding guide so best so so the whole process is completely based on cgpa so that's why if you're coming to iit kharagpur and if you want to you know do project under the best professors then your cgpa has to be very high then only if you give those professors as your first preference your chance of that getting that professor is uh, you know more likely so that's why cgpa based uh, guide selection as in in most of the iits in india the same procedure is uh, being followed here at iit Khadar. now coming to the summer intensive opportunity because many of the uh, students used to look for summer intensive opportunity in all the iits and based on that they used to decide whether they will join a particular iit or not uh, so recently iit Kharagpur has started summer intensive program for uh, mtech students uh, uh, during the summer uh, so last year from 2022 uh, it has been started uh, so typically from january to april the the, the you know interviews and all uh, used to happen written test interview and all uh, but last year i think only seven to eight people got the intensive opportunity very few got uh, recruited uh, i don't know exactly the reason uh, because it was starting for the first time last year only and as you know last year recession was going on so that's why most of the companies are not in the uh, recruitment phase they are freezing their recruitment so that's that may be a reason but but uh, you know iit kharagpur has now opened this because uh, before 2022 uh, the the authorities or the department uh, people they are not allowing students to go for internship they are rather you know rather thinking that students to stay here and, uh, and do their mtech project but now that rigidness has gone so they are open to uh, sending uh, students to to the to the summer internship that's a good thing uh, i hope from this year onwards the count will increase more now coming to the most important part of the students that is placement scenario or how placements happen in iit kharagpur uh, computer science engineering department uh, so typically you know at iit kharagpur uh, you know placements happen in the first week of december so that is the typical window that is being followed here at iit kharagpur and in iit kharagpur we have a placement sale that is called career development sale or cdc they used to you know coordinate everything uh, with the students and with the companies to conduct the whole uh, placement each year now typically around august and september the placement you know the whole process starts and the first step is that you have to make a or you have to build a cv and that cv will be verified by the cdc people so that is the first step that is being done then once this uh, you know cv uh, building part is done uh, then the application uh, you know you have to start applying to different companies in the cdc portal so that starts typically in the in the in the, in the end of september so that time you can apply for different companies that you are looking for uh, for your you know placement now around october mid that is after puja vacation uh, based on your applications you can appear for the, for an aptitude test or written test for uh, different companies so all the companies used to take first the aptitude test or written test and the coding test and and that starts uh, from the mid of october but you know this time the result won't be you know out so you will keep on giving uh, your your written test and coding test to different companies and the result will up uh, just 15 days before the interview so interview happen on the first week of uh, december so result of your written test or aptitude test you will get to know maybe around 15th of november so that is the whole setup here now typically you know for all the companies btech mtech dual degree all of these students is to appear and after your written test or coding test around 15 people or 20 people will be selected for the interview and in the, in the first week of december when the interview will happen maximum three to four people will get selected for a particular company so that is how the whole thing is so many people can appear for the for the written test or uh, coding test from them uh, 15 to 20 people will be shortlisted for the uh, interview and from that 
uh, 15 to 20 people they will just select uh, three to four uh, four uh, student and these three to four students will be including everyone b tech dual degree m tech uh, whoever is appearing for that particular company so the competition is tough but yeah number of uh, companies that used to visit iit iit kharagpur campus is also very huge now typically within first week of december only most of the students from computer science department used to get placed in any companies that is visiting the uh, visiting to the campus but this was not the case for the last year placement scenario last year it was really really horrible because most of the you know top companies like big companies the big name product based companies they they was taking just one student uh, from this whole pool of btech dual degree and mtech students so that's why last year situation was not that good but yeah overall in the first week only most of the students used to get placed and average salary you know typically it used to be the ctc used to be 20 to 25 lakhs per annum and average base salary used to be uh, 17 to 18 lakhs per annum if you are getting the job in the first three days and if you are not getting in the first three days if you have to go beyond that then your average base salary will be around 13 lakhs per annum so this is the statistics that is there for the last uh, couple of years except the last year scenario due to recession the situation was a bit bad but overall placement statistics at least from the computer science department is really really good now coming to the tsc part because as a as a mtech student at iit kharagpur in computer science and engineering department you need to do teaching assistantship or tsc in the first two semester you don't need to do any tsc and that i personally feel is a great decision because uh, great decision by the authority because in the first two semesters you have to do a lot of courses in addition to that if you have to do tsc because tsc uh, you have to spend at least four to five hours per week uh, for your TSC duty. So that's why in the first two semester you don't have that much time to waste. So that's why it's a relief for you that you don't need to do any kind of TSC in the in the first two semester. But in the third semester and fourth semester you need to do TSC because that time you don't have much load. Now typically you know from the from the department only uh, they used to circulate a form that which are the uh, courses you want to be TA. Again here you'll be given three choices, and based on that one will be allocated to you. Uh, for it for your TSC duty only exception is that if your guide thinks that you will be TA for his or her course then that's a separate case then you have to be TA in his or her course only so typically in the TSC you know if you're getting a TSC for a particular lab suppose then you have to be present in that lab and you have to help the you know junior MTech students or junior BTech students in their lab duty and you have to check uh, their uh, assignment copies and if you are a TA for any theory course, then the load is less because you don't need to go for a class every day. But once there will be assignments or there will be any copy for the midterm that you have to check. Now compete with BTEC. Here, yes, here in IIT Kharagpur, in computer science department, if you if you want to join as an MTech student, it's evident that you have to compete with BTEC students in every step of your uh, of your MTech curriculum. Because in the course also, BTEC students will be there because here the courses are not specifically designed for MTech students. Course is designed for everyone, all the elective courses or the compulsory courses that we'll be taking from the department that is designed for everyone. And in every course, there will be a lot of BTEC students who will be creating the course. So you have to, in the course also, you have to compete with the BTEC students and specifically you have to compete with them uh, during the placement scenario. Now, all those high package jobs that comes from different trading companies or different banking companies, that is specifically for BTEC students, that is not for MTech students. Like I hope you have seen in the paper that you know some students, BTEC students from IIT Kharagpur got one crore job, 1.5 crore uh, per month job, uh, per, per annum job. So these jobs are specifically for BTEC students. Don't think you know as an MTech student in IIT Kharagpur you'll be getting this job. Now the second thing is mm, you know there are very few companies that will come in the placement who will be recruiting specifically MTech students. There are few companies but that, that that count is very limited most of the companies used to you know interview btech dual degree mtech and all the other degrees uh, students uh, whoever you to is to apply for the company they used to take interview for all of them but one advantage is they are for a normal company or ordinary company typically the salary for the mtech students used to be a bit higher than the btech students so that is an added bonus for the mtech students is there that because you are you have done a master's degree on computer science so that's why your salary is a bit more than the BTEC students. But overall, you know, here you have to compete with your BTEC students and BTEC students are super genius here. I have seen them as a part of a part of my PhD curriculum in different courses. They are super talented. You have to do a lot of hard work to do well in the in the courses as well as in the 
uh, in, in the placement interviews. Now, finally, about the campus life and the, all the other things, the ambience and all. Uh, so it's kind of a moderate. I won't say it's very, you know, happening place, uh, Kharagpur is. I won't say because it's a small town. But overall, campus is good uh, because due to the BTEC students, there are a lot of cultural fest, text fest used to happen. And that time, you know, it's very happening place uh, in the academic block. Gymkhana is there for the sporting facility. Uh, there is a dedicated Gymkhana. It's a big one. I, I have seen the Gymkhana in ISC also, but it's bigger than ISC in IIT Kharagpur. And the sport, a sporting facility is really, really well here. And uh, there, are, there are two two ground is there. Uh, you can do you can you can do any kind of outdoor uh, sporting in those two grounds. Uh, we have a very at IIT Kharagpur. We have a very dedicated, uh, you know, classroom complex that I haven't seen in ISC. ISC typically wish to have our classes in the department, but here we have a dedicated classroom complex where, uh, you know, classes from all the department used to happen there. So that's no, not a part of any department. That's a dedicated uh, classroom complex, and that is called Nalanda. Uh, that's a bit far from the academic block, but it's a it's a big one. I mean. Uh, I think I don't know how many classes is there, but it's a big complex. There are a lot of classes and the infrastructure is really, really world class there. So that is one advantage is there. I hope it is there for other IITs, but at least in IIC, I haven't seen uh, this infrastructure. OK, and the, and the next thing is that you, you have as the MTech students, uh, you have to share room with the other students. So typically it will be two sharing or three sharing room. Wi-Fi is available uh, in, the, in, the, in the room. Ethernet or LAN connection is also available in the hostel room. Water is there, water cooler will be there, a hot water geyser is there, washing machine also will be there. Yeah, so these are the typical infrastructure that will be provided to you. There are a lot of uh, restaurants that is also there inside inside the campus. If you don't like the mess food, you can uh, go there and have your food. Yeah, overall, you know, as I said, it's a moderate uh, environment or ambience. Uh, it's a very small town, Kharagpur, but the connectivity is good because Kharagpur station is uh, well renowned. It's well connected. So yeah, this is how the overall ambience or overall campus life. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it about the whole MTech curriculum for computer science or engineering department at IIT Kharagpur. And this is this is almost similar for other branches also. And I hope this will be helpful for all students who will be joining IIT Kharagpur this year for their MTech and maybe for the coming year also. So let me know if you have any questions, uh, comment me down or you can join the Telegram, my Telegram channel and you can ask the question there also. I can I can reply anywhere if you, if you connect with me and if you like this video please like it so that this get more reach and more engagement and share this video to other people also uh, who are thinking of joining IIT Kharagpur for their MTech and if you are new to this particular channel please visit my channel go through all the videos and if you found it very helpful uh, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever you upload a video you will get instant notification that's it about this video I'll be meeting in the next video until then bye.